I think there have been three, to me, that so far there have been three big studies which have made a difference. Yeah. Obviously there's the Prevail study, which was just over 1,700 men randomised to enzalutamide versus placebo in the pre taxol setting. Um, and that's shown a 29% improvement in overall survival and an 81% improvement in radiographic progression-free survival. And so that has been a, a big result. Um, very well tolerated, delayed chemotherapy by 17 months. And so I think, you know, that's going to be something that we're going to need to fit into the, into the sequence as well. Um, the Alsimka study, which was looking at radium-223, which previously we knew had a 3.6 month improvement in overall survival. And we looked at the long-term toxicity data at one and a half years, and it's shown that it was safe, that there wasn't an excess of um, long-term bone marrow problems. I think there was 1% aplastic anemia, but really well tolerated, you know, which is good because it's being used earlier in the sequence of the, sort of, you know, the, the treatment and if you're going to be thinking of combining that with other drugs at early stages it's very important to know that there aren't going to be long-term bone marrow problems. And then on a sort of negative note the Oteranol study which didn't meet its primary endpoint and that was looking at Oteranol versus steroids, placebo and steroids, Oteranol and steroids in that post chemotherapy setting and that didn't meet its OS endpoint, its primary endpoint. So that was a sort of a negative trial, but two other very positive ones.